Good morning, everybody. Um, this is a new book I've written called Roger the Dinosaur Meets the Holy Family. The best Christmas story ever, it says, by Corey Fluxtra. This is a Christmas story, and it turned out it might be just as better than Veggie Tales Christmas. Uh, I mean, stupid Veggie Tales. Why would you watch that? Anyhow, um, this is a biblically accurate kind of story I've written about Christmas, about the birth of Jesus, the Jesus. All right, let's read about it. It is very in-depth, all right? It's very vast. I actually took the, the story of the Bible. It's too short, so I made it more adventurous by making it longer because um, in the Bible, the story is way too short, okay? The birth of, the story about the birth of Jesus is too short, and it doesn't have that much detail in it, so I just try to make it as biblically accurate as possible, but also make it entertaining as well, and Christmassy, because it's a Christmas story, by the way, most of my uh, graphic novel or uh, comic book stuff is rated R because um, in this um, story here, Christmas story, um, it's rated R because Roger the Dinosaur kills and eats King Herod because King Herod is the bad guy the evil villain in the Bible who tries to kill baby Jesus. So, um, it's true. It's biblical. Okay. King Herod tried to kill the babies and Jesus in the story. All right. I'm not making this up. And the three magi or the three wise men or the three kings, I try to make that as historically accurate as possible because they also had names as well but the thing is the reason why it's rated r is because there's blood and uh roger dinosaur has you'll find out that he has uh a couple ak-47s or ar-15s well actually it just shows one of his guns that he uses against king herod but there's also um uh some goofy words like, I don't know why I added that in there. It's not really that biblical, but yeah, you'll find out. So let's begin reading. It's just a funny story, so don't get too uh, wadded up. Anyhow, let's begin reading, folks. Roger, take the shovel and shovel the snow outside. That's your job. But, uh, uh, why me, says Roger Dinosaur. I told Roger the Dinosaur to shovel the snow outside. I said, Roger, take the shovel and shovel the snow outside. And Roger Dinosaur's like, but, uh, why me? Then I said, I will give you a hundred bucks now. Go, clear the driveway. So please do the king's orders. By the way, I'm not King Herod. This is a different king. It happens first that it'll soon get up to the bad King Herod later on in the story. And Roger Dinosaur beats King Herod. Because King Herod, if it weren't for Roger Dinosaur in the story, King Herod would actually kill um, baby Jesus. And that'd be sad. Okay. King Herod does die. He does in the the Bible, but according to history, King Herod only dies because of his uh, weird disease, which we're not going to talk about. Because uh, yeah, and then Roger Dinosaur says, grabs his snow shovel and says, "Yes, sir." 
There's too much snow outside, says Roger the dinosaur. And uh-oh, tower on the Easter Bunny. Hey, Roger, you want to have a snowball fight? I don't know if that's how, he, how people like that talk, but anyways. Uh, sorry, Tyrone. I can't right now. I have to shovel the snow in the parking lot, says Roger Dinosaur. Then Tyrone Easter Bunny. Well, that's his born, man. Come on. Don't be a stupid punk. Let's throw some balls, man. Um, I'm sorry, but that sounds real gay. So, no! Oh, come on, it'll be fun, says Roger to, I mean, says uh, Tyrone, the Easter Bunny. Roger Dinosaur says, hey, Tyrone, why you wear an Easter Bunny outfit? It's Christmas. You should wear a Santa Claus suit. A Santa Claus suit, not an Easter Bunny outfit. Because I'm black, says Tyrone. I can do whatever I want, man. It's cool, man. Man, that's cool. I wish Corey would let me wear a wizard outfit, but I'm not a wizard, says Roger the Dinosaur. And Tyrone says... Well, he hates wizards, by the way. He thinks that wizards are, um, yeah. Shut up! I mean, <clears throat> Tyrone's voice. Shut up, bitch! That racist fool! Ha 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 ha! Roger the dinosaur laughs. Whatever, let him do that! And Tyrone Easterbunny walks away from Ro Roger, while Roger still shovels the snow. Ha 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 ha! Classic Tyrone Easterbunny! Hey, wait a minute, who the heck are you? Be not afraid, says the angel of the Lord. I'm the angel of the Lord. Yeah, what about it? Well, you want to see baby Jesus? Uh, yeah, sure. Just follow the eastern star in the sky. Uh, okay, I uh, will then. But where will it take me? <clears throat> the land of Bethlehem. To see Jesus Christ born a baby in a manger. All right, cool. So Roger Dinosaur followed the star trying to get to Bethlehem to see Jesus. On his way to Bethlehem, he met some magi riding camels. The wise men are the kings of, uh, yeah, whatever. Hey, can you hurry up? You're going in my path! I, I'm sorry, big lizard man. We're on our way to Bethlehem to follow the star to meet the chosen one, Jesus, I think. Yeah! I'm on my way there too! Jesus is cool! He sure is, man. He is awesome. You guys seem pretty base. What are your names? My name is uh Roger the Dinosaur. What's your name? Then the wise men say they're uh, historically accurate names. My name is Cospa. I am Melakoyar. And me, I'm Balthasar, we are the three wise men, the ancient magi. Who are you, I mean, who are going to see baby Jesus? That's cool, man. 
Let's go. Let's be walking or we will be late. Shouldn't we run there? I can go faster. Right. Oh, you're right. We should go a little bit faster. Or else King Helen might get there first. He's killing the firstborns. So they're talking about King Herod. That's also in the Bible. But Roger Dinosaur, he's not in the Bible. But this is a just a fun story just to tell you all about Jesus. Herod is killing the firstborns. We must hurry. Otherwise, he might kill Jesus. Uh, why is King Herod killing the firstborns? I don't get it. I don't know. Ever since Herod heard of baby Jesus, the King Jesus, he now hates babies. So he goes door to door killing them. Oh, I forgot to draw the. Dang it. All right. Well, well, that's not very nice. I mean, Corey got his future wife pregnant. I think his wife be really sad. Let me re redraw that in, folks. Now, according to what happened in my comics, I got my wife pregnant. So, um, yeah, congratulations. But that's only in my comic books. That never happened in real life. I'm still single, by the way. But Roger Dinosaur says, Well, that's not very nice. I mean, King Helen is trying to kill baby Jesus. Well, that's not very nice. I mean, Corey got his future wife pregnant. I think his wife be really sad. If King Eric came to my King Corey's castle and Herod kills Corey's wife's newborn, I'm pretty sure Corey be really angry, angry. Your dinosaur ain't you? Yes, sir, I'm a realist and dinosaur in the freaking game, y'all. All right, dinosaurs eat and kill. You could defend Christ by devouring King Herod. And we will just tell the Holy Family of Jesus' parents to fled. They will escape to the land of Egypt to safety. All right. Sure, I will defend Jesus. I will away from that evil King Herod, and they can escape to Egypt. Sounds like a plan. Good. Good. But first, let's see Jesus first. But when we get there to Bethlehem, I'll pay for the Holy Family's boat ride to Egypt. So they can easily escape. You just go ahead and kill Herod. Sure, you can count on me to get rid of that King Herod. I'm a dinosaur and I'm hungry 24 seven. I can eat King Herod. I have the appetite. Good, good. This should be easy for you. Hey, guess what? What? We finally made it to Bethlehem. Let's park our camels. I never came, came here with a stupid camel. I'm a dinosaur. Well, good. You're for you, Roger. Walking is great exercise. We're just too old. We need camels to get around. Camel, I mean, 
Camels are pretty stupid, by the way. So where's baby Jesus? Look in that barn over there. Uh, that's a cave with lambs all around it. Hey, lambs, get out of the way. We're here to see baby Jesus. Ma, ma. But the sheep says nothing but lamb noises. Make ways or I'll eat you. Mmm. Ma, ma. The lambs do nothing. Fine! You give me no choice! Roar! Hey! Be quiet! You will wake the baby Jesus! Oh, I'm sorry! Hey, wait a minute! What kind of monster are you? That's Joseph, by the way. I'm Roger the Dinosaur! Don't worry, Joseph. He's based. He's with us. I'm sorry. I just want to see Jesus. Well, all right. I'm sorry, Mr. Roger. Don't worry. People are scaring me all the time. I'm just... I mean, don't worry. People are scared of me all the time. I'm really used to that because he's a dinosaur. Roger Dinosaur is a big, scary dinosaur. Don't worry, Roger Dinosaur. You're cool. We're cool here. Yeah, we're pretty based. Now, where's our Savior, Jesus Christ? Well... Roger, he's right here. He's here in the manger. I gave birth to the Son of God. Then Roger Dinosaur sees Jesus. Wow! I feel so much hope! Who led you guys here? We came here because the star was off course. So we followed it, and that an angel of the Lord led us here. I mean, the the um, three wise men's uh, foreign accent because they have a different voice. We came in because the star was off course, so we followed it, and that an angel of the Lord led us here. Yeah, an angel and a star was cha I was chasing around brought me here. Wow. Well, this is the precious son of God. We brought valuable gifts for you and the child. We brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Wow, I like it. Thank you so much, Magi. Wait, you all brought gifts? What should I give them? I want to give something to Jesus, too. It's all right, Roger. You being here is good enough. Yes, we thank you, Roger, for coming, says Mary and Joseph. I think I said their names right. Lame. I want to give Jesus a gift too. And then back to reading the Bible because uh, Corey was reading the Bible. I mean, Corey finds, I mean, not King Herod, but King Corey Finds out that Roger a Dinosaur is in the Bible for some odd reason. Not really, but yeah. Probably just scribbled and written in there. Hey, wait a minute. What is Roger doing in the book of the Bible? Anyway. I gotta read more. Can't believe 
what I'm reading, I gotta read more. Yeah, I always wondered what the baby slayer King Herod would, would I mean, I always wondered what the baby slayer King Herod, what will happen to him. I hope Roger Dinosaur kicks his ass. Now back to the story. You will finish reading no matter if you like it or not. Let's finish reading this biblically accurate Christmas story, folks. Enjoy. Then back to the um, story of uh, Jesus and Roger the Dinosaur. Well, I have bad news. Mary Joseph, King Herod the Baby Slayer, is coming! Oh no, this is terrible! What are we going to do? I will stop them! I will stop King Herod! Just go to Egypt with Jesus! And your husband Joseph! I will defeat Herod! I will defeat King Herod! Thank you, God. God bless you, Roger. The ship is ready for your escape. You must go, Mary and Joseph. Thank you. I mean, <clears throat> thank you all for coming and warning of us. I mean, thank you all for coming and warning all of us of the baby slayer, King Herod. You're welcome. Now run to safety. Hurry while you still can. So Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus left to Egypt to get away from the evil King Herod. Then while Roger waited at the manger scene, because, yeah. All right, where that stupid baby? I must kill the king, says King Herod. Where the new king? Wait a minute. What the heck is that thing? Roar! I'm riding the dinosaur! My great warriors, slay this monster! Yes, my lord! Say this, you dumb Canadians. This is America. I don't know what this creature is saying. What does that even mean? Uh, the warriors had an army. The warriors had spears and swords. But Roger the Dinosaur said, I mean, <clears throat> Roger the dinosaur had guns, and he started shooting at Herod, King Herod, and his troops. Take this, you damn commies! All the army of warriors dropped dead because Roger the dinosaur shot the warriors, the troops of King Herod. Now I'm coming for you, puny little King Herod! Oh no! Roar! Please, please, don't have mercy! Then Roger devoured King Herod. There, got done reading this awesome Bible story. Hey Roger, I learned something today. Oh, that's right, Roger is outside shoveling the snow. There, I'm all done shoveling the driveway of snow. Outside. Roger, get inside. I have some thing to show you. Um, all right. At the castle. Corey's castle, not King Herod. There's a difference between me and King Herod, okay? There are many kings in the story. There's the Magi, the three Magi, remember, the the three Magi, King Herod, and also me in the story, King Cory. 
You're in the biblically accurate Christmas story, Roger. God wrote you in this book. What? What do you mean? I mean, here's what happened. It says you defended Jesus by getting rid of the King Herod. What? Let me see. Oh, I realized something. I can't read. Why are you showing me this? What do you mean you can't read? Well, I'm a stupid, immature dinosaur who never went to school all my life. Yeah, but you're homeschooled, Roger. I am, I mean, you're homeschooled, Roger. I homeschool all my dinosaurs. I homeschool all my dinosaurs. Besides, schools that make people boring and dull. Anyways. Yeah, so? Yeah, so? You're fine just the way you are, Roger. They teach you and control you in the society, and you're not a kid anymore. Uh. What do you mean? I'm not a kid anymore, says Roger the Dinosaur. And I tell the truth to Roger, Dinosaur. Roger, it was your birthday. You just became a full-grown adult T-Rex. How do you feel? I feel all right, I guess. Good. But how old am I? I mean, <clears throat> but how old am I? You're, uh, what? What is it? I don't know, man. <coughs> so much voice acting. I don't know, man. Why you don't know? Well, if it weren't for me, you and the Don, I mean, <coughs> my voice. Well, if it, I mean, well, if it weren't for me, you and the dinosaurs, friends, be all extinct, but your whole family, they couldn't escape, so be grateful for the life you have. Or my name ain't Cory the Saurus, King Cory the Saurus Rex. Oh, okay. Cheer up, Roger. This is new biblical prophecy. Gives me an idea for a Christmas play. Maybe even Chris, I mean, <clears throat> maybe even a Christmas movie. But fuck Hollywood. Hollywood is weird. Hollywood is stupid liberal agenda. Oh, well, I don't care what people think. Do not make this story into anything. I don't want this stupid story to be directed into a ruined movie to appease to a larger mass, says, audience or whatever. Or I will find you. I hope you enjoyed that cool story, cool Christmas story. I have a, I mean, <clears throat> you all have a nice day. Jesus loves you. That's about it. The end. Hopefully you like that story. Bye.